Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I'd like to share with you a few recipes that I have for making Bam Bam oil. The recipes will have a slight detour from what the norm is. So what you will need are containers for your oil. And I have four variations. So I have four of these vials. I'll be mixing them simultaneously because I have a base recipe that I use. I'm using essential oils. You will also need a few droppers. These are different types of droppers. An exacto knife or some other type knife to make your cuts and some herbs. The herbs are very strong, so I'm trying not to handle them because they are somewhat strong. So my basic recipe, which I will call recipe number one, is lemon. So I'm going to use lemon extract. Any brand will do. And this is the substitute for the lemongrass. If you can get lemongrass, use that. But I chose essential oils because you don't have to wait for the essence of the herbs to seep through into your mixture. So I'm using lemon extract and I'm mixing some alcohol in there, which will thin it out a little bit, but not too much. I'm also using vetivert. I use rue and citronella. There are variations to the original recipes, but these are based off of that. This is a general recipe that I use. I stick to the normal recipe, which is 20 drops of lemongrass oil and 15 drops of the vetivert oil. Some recipes call for ginger root and other items, but I just try to keep to the, the two and then multiply it out. I place 60 drops of the lemon extract and 45 drops of the vetivert. Forty-five drops also of the citronella oil. After mixing all of these, I will infuse each vial with energy. I label the tops with a piece of tape and number them. I'll mix up each one of these. I'm going to use that same base recipe, 60, 45, and 45. Then I will also add something different to each of the This is how I generally mix these. And I will begin by adding the amounts that I said of the lemon extract and then I will add the same amount to the other ones and then I will come back. I'm also posting the recipe and I'll need to count and I don't want to lose the count so I'll post the recipe also. Okay, I have two mixtures. These are just the plain oil. Now I have two versions that I will have an addition of other plant matter. This is geranium, and I'm going to make slithers off of it using the exacto knife. 
and I just want the essence to infuse into the oil. So I want it to fit into the bottle, so I'm cutting it small, but I also want it to infuse uh, its essence quickly, so I'm, that's another reason for cutting it small. I'm going to use some of the leaves, the very small ones, and I'm going to use slithers of the plant itself. Please be careful when handling the X-Acto knife or other cutting instrument. Now I'll just place them into the vial. The smaller the pieces are, the easier they will fit into the container. They're kept small so that the pieces can fit into the container. Okay, so with this I'm not going to be able to put a whole lot of oil in there, but once that's in there, I can add some more oil to it. I just wanted to make sure that it did not overflow after... I was uh, adding those pieces to it. The other one, for the geranium, I just used the leaves and some of the branch, not the flowers themselves. I used the flowers in a different recipe. This is marigold, and it's rather strong. So I'm going to do the same as with the geranium. I'm going to make small cuttings. I use the flowers in a different uh, recipe. No matter what part of this uh, plant you smell, it is somewhat loud. But I will cut it into a number of pieces. Please be careful. I'm just cutting it open uh, the stem lengthwise because I really want to uh, allow it to infuse with the oil much quicker. It will infuse a little more also by cutting it this way. The scent of it is uh, quite loud. This is a type of coal fusion. So they do make a geranium oil, but I like to use the fresh herbs whenever possible. Now with these, they're so strong, so it doesn't really matter which uh, part of the plant or the leaves stems that you use. It's extremely loud. I'm just going to add these in here. Uh, this is a cold fusion. Uh, no heat is being used, so it will need to sit for a while in the oil so that the uh, essence can mix with the oil. Now, it's helpful to have the leaves in the container because it helps you identify what um, herbs you're using. And I do like to cut it, the leaves included, because it does help the uh, essence infuse into the oil much faster than putting the uh, whole leaf in there. I generally roll it in my hands uh, instead of shaking it. You can do either one, but um, rolling it in your hands help 
warm the oil and start um, the infusion process a little bit better, so to speak. That's about as warm as I get it when I'm mixing it like this. I will, however, at times place it in the sunlight. Margos are great for repelling. And the geranium is also used for hex breaking and in other recipes such as that. Now that's four variation of Van Van oil. And you're using simple ingredients that you can easily get your hands on. I don't use cutting oil in these, but you can. These are just um, straight essential oils, but you can use the uh, cutting oils, if especially if you're going to use them um, somewhere on the skin or something. But, but these are all really strong. Uh, you can use a mineral oil if you want to cut. I, you can use almond oil. It's a little stronger, but the mineral oil, the viscosity doesn't break down. It doesn't get rancid as quick. So it's much thicker than the other oils are. Now, if you can get your hands on some of the other cutting oils, it will work really well. Or you can use one of the other oils if you're going to use this up really quickly. Okay, thanks for joining me.